From the Thomas K. McKeon Center for Creativity at Tulsa Community College's Metro Campus in downtown Tulsa, and that is a mouthful. This is the Big Blue Podcast. I'm Greg Stone, Southeast Campus Provost, here as always with our president, Dr. Lee Goodson. Dr. Goodson, how are you today? I'm having a great day. How are you? Well, I'm doing well, and I can assume that you are really excited because I know one of your favorite things is coming up, and that is commencement. We're recording just a, about a week before our first December commencement. Our first December commencement. We will see what happens. I know that an incredible <laughs> amount of planning has taken place, yep. and I know that uh, the student affairs team is on top of everything. It's going to be great. It's going to be at the pavilion, just like our spring commencement. And, and several uh, hundred students have responded that they, they plan to attend. So I think it we're going to have a, a good crowd. Good. But we are here today to talk to Dr. Diana Spencer, Associate Professor uh, in Science and Math, and Dr. Spencer, after uh, a very notable uh, teaching career, not just here at Tulsa Community College, but uh, in K-12 K-12 systems in the area is uh, retiring this month. Where it's now early yes. December. Um, so first of all, congratulations. Thank you. Um, and thanks for all the great work that you've done with our students. Um, you've been, we'll sort of talk about undergrad research a little bit before we are out. But I'm just wondering, um, Diana, what's, what are you most proud of doing your time here at Tulsa Community College? Well, isn't that a wonderful, fun question to start <laughs> with? Um, I've had a wonderful time here at TCC. Um, so many opportunities that have been provided. Um, the medical science and biotech wing did not exist. I like to say the place was dirt. Um, <laughs> we began with uh, Tulsa County Vision 2025, and the TCC Foundation helped funding and Multiple faculty and staff and administrators work together to design the building um, and work on the program of biotechnology. We did not have the program, um, and now we have extremely successful graduates. Our metrics show uh, great achievement in those graduates in the four-year schools and, and fabulous success in entrance into graduate programs. Um, I also have been very fortunate with grants here at TCC. I had never written a grant before I got here, and we have this wonderful grants office that worked with me and a team of people that work together, and we've had funds from uh, National Institutes of Health and National Science Foundation. Um, the TCC Foundation, and that's allowed us to um, do a lot of stimulating activities for students and uh, rigorous activities and gratifying activities, things that could not have happened without those funds. Hundreds of hours of workshops, um, both local, state, and national. Um, it's just made a difference for faculty and students in the community. And then last, it's just been wonderful to be awarded the George Kaiser Family Foundation Endowed Chair of Research. Uh, we've been able to build a faculty learning community and with students work for a petition and a constitution for a new student club. Um, we've been able to build the website and promote student internships. Um, it's just been fortunate for me to be able to envision origins and see a few things to fruition. Prior to coming to TCC, you were a teacher in Jenks Public Schools. What made you decide to come to TCC and be part of the higher education community? Actually, when I left Jinx to work on my doctorate, my plan was to return back to Jinx. Um, I found that work rigorous, very, very difficult, but very gratifying. I loved the energy of the high school students. Um, it was a good fit for me, but I think what happened along the way is I just fell in love with molecular genetics and the techniques that I learned, and I really wanted to be able to share those techniques. Um, such a wonderful way of being able to ask questions and answer questions on a molecular level. It, so I started looking around, and all these fingers seemed to be pointing at there was an opening at Southeast Campus. So I applied, and it's been a wonderful fit. I want to ask you too about 
um, I mean, it's, so many of your students speak so highly of you and you. the opportunities that you help provide them in undergrad research. I'm just curious, what teacher or professor really meant the most to you? And what did you learn from that person that maybe you've put to use in your own teaching practice? That's a wonderful question. I, um, I remember a third grade teacher, Miss McGuire, we kept playing in the ditch during recess and we were in trouble for playing in the ditch. And I loved playing in the ditch. <laughs> and she got a microscope. I, that was the first time I looked through a microscope for us to see the water in the ditch. And, and so it worked. I stayed out of the ditch, but I did <laughs> not forget working with that microscope. And, and there's been so many faculty. Um, what was in the water in the ditch? Uh, lots of little creepy crawly things. I didn't know what they were, but I knew I didn't want you them didn't on my hands. <laughs> and then look where I've returned to. Yes. Loving pond water. Uh, wonderful high school faculty member at Pahaska High School, Mrs. Aaron. She was just a wonderful biology teacher. And most recently um, at OSU CHS, um, Dr. David John and Dr. Ken Miller, they're just giants in their field. Outstanding, um, just outstanding faculty. And they are. Yes, and, mm -hmm. and they, they know their stuff, they teach well, but um, their kindness and their respect mm -hmm. and their care of students, um, I will never forget their kindness. Well, I'm Lee Goodson here with my co-host, Dr. Greg Stone, and you're listening to the Big Blue Podcast. Our guest today is Diana Spencer, and we've been talking about her career accomplishments and legacy and thinking about what's next. So what are your hopes for the future for undergraduate research at TCC? And you, you're leaving a legacy, but what's, now that you're leaving, what's next for TCC in that space? And what kinds of opportunities do you hope students will we'll be able to enjoy in the coming years at TCC. Absolutely. I'm very excited about what's going to happen in undergrad research. Um, we just were able to name the, Dr. Rob Katz as the new chair of research. And he, the whole program is in extremely capable hands. <laughs> He's a natural for continuing. He's been a part of the learning community. He's been on the trips with us. He's helped us do presentations. Um, and he's from the humanities and performing arts, so I feel really good. Um, he's just a natural communicator and a leader, and he will be able to possibly bring in faculty from other disciplines. Very good hands. Increase the aware awareness. Um, <clears throat> and because you now have an opportunity to start something new, um, what are your what are your plans going to be? What are you looking forward to in retirement? Before we were before we start recording, I'll just uh, I'll just say you mentioned you were about ninety eight percent ecstatic and two <laughs> yes. percent sad to be leaving. But what are the uh, things you're looking forward to doing next? Yes, that two percent I can tear up in a moment. Um, but the ninety eight percent, I know I'm very fortunate. Um, my high school sweetheart husband and I are both retiring. We have two daughters and six children in town. We're going to travel, and we're going to play, and we're going to volunteer, and then we're going to travel and play and <laughs> sleep. I'm, I'm just very excited about the opportunity. So you have six grandchildren? Here in town, yes. Wow. I so know, you're going to babysit is what you're going to do. That's what <laughs> you're going to do. Play. Oh, yes, the playing and travel. Yes, yeah. yes, <laughs> yes, I am. Uh, that's good. So... Well, we have one final question that we ask each one of our guests, and, and I don't remember how you answered this last time, so I don't know if your answer will, it's been a while. will be the same. But if you could go back in time and give your 18-year-old self a little bit of advice, what would it be? I tell my students all the time, um, learn to fail quickly. Uh, because it presupposes we are all going to fail. Learn to fail quickly. Move like a paramecium. And that drop of water under the slide, be able to back up and move forward in a different direction. Um, I also quote Robert Fulgham's, all I needed to learn, I'm probably saying this wrong, all I really needed to know I learned in kindergarten. There's 16 precepts, but the one about be aware of wonder, the one about going outside, holding hands, I, I try to share all of those, and, and that helps for a good balance and a happy mm -hmm. life. 
Well, congratulations on your retirement. Thank you so <clears throat> we're much. gonna miss having you here, but we're excited that you get to to go travel and play and spend time with family <laughs> and you. friends. And thank you. and thanks for all your great work with students over the years. It's uh, much appreciated. Thank, so thank you for you. all the opportunities. And we want to thank all of you for listening. Remember, you can catch the Big Blue podcast each week in the week at TCC and on the Creativity Channel. Dr. Goodson, thank you as well. Thank you, Dr. Stone. And we will see you next time.